What's up folks? So it is now already December this year. Somehow feels like it flew past, but at the same time went by super slow and has been a shit show for everyone. So over the next couple of days, I'm just gonna do things that actually make me feel good. Not only physically, but also mentally. Just kind of like a treat myself kind of week. And yeah, maybe you guys can follow along and do some of these things with me. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna start off with is a little bit of movement. Now obviously do whatever you enjoy, whether that's running, swimming. Personally, I like going to the gym and I like lifting things up and putting them back down. I asked in my previous vlog if you guys wanted to see some workout commentaries and a ton of you guys said bring them back. I used to do so many workout commentaries when I first started my channel because it was like a dedicated fitness channel. I yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Give me a little break. I'm gonna be rusty, but uh, let's get on with the workout. All right, so first we're starting off with the general warm up. The whole point being to get your body ready for exercise. You can do some running, some rowing, whatever floats your boat today. I did some skipping. Do about five to 10 minutes or until you break a light sweat. Uh, as you guys can see, I am now stripping down and getting ready for the workout. First, oh, never mind. I'm doing a specific warm up next. The whole point of the specific warm up, damn, this voiceover thing is hard. The whole point of a specific warm up is to warm up the joints that you are going to be utilizing the most throughout the workout. So right now, I'm doing some band pull up parts. Do a few in front of your body, a few above your body. I'm doing some shoulder retractions and protractions. But honestly, just do whatever you feel like you need to do in a way that feels safe and comfortable. So use a band that you're comfortable with. These are some single arm presses. Uh, I have no idea what this is called. Like a little down dog, up dog moment, little swoopy swoop. Uh, just go nice and slow, feel the movement through your shoulders and your spine. But look at my butt, look how good that looks. Anyways, uh, we're getting on with the first exercise, the bench press. So usually I have two separate uh, push days. I have a volume and hypertrophy focus day and a strength focus day. Today was more of a volume focus day. So I did, I think eight reps. I usually go anywhere between eight to 12 on my volume days. And on my strength, I go anywhere from two to five. But yeah, bench felt really good today. I took it a little bit lighter just because my shoulders have been feeling quite, uh, shoulders have been crunchy. I feel like that's the best way to describe it. It's not in pain or anything. It's just, it's a little wrap. Next one, we're going into our supersets. First one of the supersets being overhead press. Vertical pressing is probably my favorite movement. Um, I don't know why I just told you because nobody asked me, but I love overhead press or military press, whatever you want to call it. I superset that with some dumbbell chest press. It was great. Loved it. You know, got a nice stretch in the chest. And then after that, did another superset of Arnold press, dumbbell Arnold press, getting good rotation through the shoulders, making sure I'm not going into stripper back, making sure my butt is nice and clenched and tight, supersetting that with some good old push-ups, you know, keep your butt nice and tight again. Yeah, um, a lot of butt tightness in this video uh, because it's very important. But anyways, keep your body nice and flat in a plank, go down as low as you can. And then as the workout progresses nearing the end, I add a little bit of gymnastics slash hit. So I'm doing three Kipping ring muscle ups. These actually felt really good. I think I'm getting a lot more comfortable with my false grip, uh, but I can still get my hips a little bit higher, especially as I get more tired. Next up are my handstand push ups. These felt really good. Um, definitely got tired because I did three rounds of these. Nearing the third round, I was just, it, it was not good. Anyways, next up I did nine burpees. Guys, Look how good, oh, look at those legs. Oh my goodness. I fucking hate burpees. Uh, they're, they're terrible, but I like to spread my legs out a lot. I don't know, I think it kind of helps. Uh, and then for some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to finish with uh, AMRAP or as many reps as possible of ring dips, which was not fun. And then same thing, as many reps as possible of push-ups. As you guys can see, I fucking died. Anyways, finish your square, wipe your equipment, be respectful, and uh, that was the workout. All right, and because this week we're talking about feeling good and healthy habits, we gotta talk about Athletic Greens. Now, you guys have seen this green beverage many, many times on my channel before. I've been taking it for well over 100 days now, and I just take it either right after my workout 
or as my means to break my fast. And yeah, now it's just a part of my daily routine. A big thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. If you guys haven't heard of Athletic Greens before, it's a blend of 75, 7, five, blend of different vitamins, minerals derived from whole food based ingredients. Obviously, I try my best to eat a wide variety of different leafy greens, veggies, fruits. However, you know, that's just isn't reality on some days. So it's just nice to have an all in one scoop. It's just like a little bit of extra insurance. You know, I personally really enjoy the pre and probiotics as well as the digestive complex Like I mentioned, I've been taking it for over hundred days now and my poops have never been better. My poops have never been more Regular it's been great. It's keto. It's vegan. It's paleo friendly plus it's NSF certified for sports So literally anyone can take this a lot of you guys asked about what the taste is like now I'm not gonna lie and say that this is the best thing you're gonna taste in your entire life. No, it's a green supplement. It's kind of It's got like a little bit of fruit, grassy pineapple is how I like to describe it. So yeah, if you guys wanna pick up some greens, you guys can use the link below. Plus, you're gonna get some additional gifts because I'm hooking you guys up with some additional vitamin D drops. And not only that, you're gonna get some travel packs of athletic greens as well. Perfect for, you know, stocking stuffers for the mom, for the dad, for your sister, for your stepsister and your dog. Maybe not your dog, but what's a better gift than the gift of hell? Anyways, thank you Athletic Games for sponsoring this video and let's get on with day two. All right, folks, today is a very exciting day because I'm gonna do something that I've been wanting to do for myself for a very long time and I'm gonna get some laser treatments done on my acne scars. Now, I've talked about this before, but I grew up with pretty severe cystic acne. I did the whole two rounds of antibiotics, two rounds of Accutane, did the whole dairy-free thing. And uh, here I am, it's left me with some scarring. Now for most of the vlogs, you probably can't really tell the scarring because I slightly overexpose and I choose the lighting that is the most flattering on my scars. Um, and I wouldn't say it's something that is like constantly on the top of my mind that I, and I constantly stress about it. However, it is something that I do think about enough. For the vast majority of times, I don't use harsh overhead lighting or like elevator lighting. Um, and if I do use it, um, in the editing process, I usually delete those clips. And yeah, I'm just tired of deleting clips and getting rid of segments just because I don't like the way my scar looks. Um, and this is by no means me saying you have to get your scars corrected or fix them. If you've learned to embrace your scars, man, I'm so jealous. I've been trying to do that for a very long time now, but it's just something I haven't been able to do. And I think because I work in a display profession where people, you know, judge me a little bit depending on my appearance puts a little bit more stress on the way i look with that being said i don't think there is an issue about correcting things that you are not content with um, especially if it's something that you have thought about for a very long time yeah if you have the means and you can do it safely why not so yeah, i'm gonna go for my first laser treatment uh, i believe it's called a fractional laser and i'm gonna need anywhere from six to ten sessions so um, we'll see how it goes yeah, it's not gonna be like a one session kind of thing. Acne scars take a very long time to fix. It's probably gonna be a year long journey, but uh, I'm excited to take you guys along with it. And I am just very excited for myself um, just because I'm just, uh, I'm over it. I'm over it, okay. <laughs> All right, so here is what my face looks like right after the procedure. As you guys can see, it's it's pretty red, um, but man, that was kind of painful. Um, Use no numbing cream just because he said the the cons outweigh the pros when it comes to the recovery process. Um, but it was kind of like little little pin pricks, um, and at first I was like, oh, this is nothing. But then when it happens over and over and over again. Uh, it kind of adds up, kind of similar to microneedling, but definitely a little bit more, you know, tender on like the forehead where the skin is a little bit thinner. But, ooh, yeah, she's looking, she's looking uh, pretty good. Yeah, I got to do anywhere from like seven to ten sessions. So it's going to be a long journey. It's going to take, I don't know, like a year. I'm going to go probably every three weeks. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted and I'll see you guys tomorrow. That was terrible. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Jasper. <laughs> Hi. Someone's a happy boy. Do you want tummy wraps? Let me give you tummy wraps. Here, tummy wraps. <laughs> Hi, Jasper. <laughs> Look at this guy. All right, folks, this is what we're looking like. <laughs> the next day, she's looking beat up. Definitely a lot more red over the spots that we went over with multiple passes uh, because that's where the scoring was the worst. 
but uh, should be gone in the next couple days. But anyways, another thing I really, really, really like doing is just going to nice local coffee shops, sitting, getting my work done, ordering a nice coffee. I know it sounds very like hipster millennial, but uh, th that's just who I am. I'm okay with overpriced coffee as long as the vibes are good. But before we go do that, let me give you guys a quick makeup tutorial. First up, we're gonna be starting off with some sunscreen. It's important to use it daily, but especially after you get some laser treatments done, uh, use a lot of it all over my face and my neck. Next up, we're just gonna cover up some of the red spots. Uh, this is a Jouer concealer, um, and I use it anytime I have like a big zit and I gotta film or do like a photo shoot works great. We're just gonna take a little bit and then just put it on the red spots. As you guys can see, currently everywhere is a red spot, so I'm just gonna literally pull it, <laughs> put it everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with guys wearing makeup, especially if it helps you, I don't know, feel a bit more confident in your skin. You no, know, I feel like it's 2020, man. Like, who the fuck cares what you do with yourself? As long as you're not really hurting anyone. And there you have it, folks. That is the completed look. Uh, literally took less than 30 seconds, and I feel a bit more confident in myself. So, you know, why not? You do you. Wakey, wakey. Wake up, wake up. Hi, buddy. Hi. Is Ryan not waking up? <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Let's go. Mm. Kofefe. All right, let me give you guys a quick fit of the day. We got Cuts Clothing, Mountain Mist, ABC Slims. Obsidian, a Jasper, Orion. <laughs> Stop feeding him steaks. Hi, right, buddy. Do you want to go home and eat? Do you want to go eat? Okay. Alright, found it. Good, go eat. There you go. Thank you. I'm learning how to debone a whole chicken. Not break it apart, but keep it all together and then tie it. Uh, uh, I did. Tell me again, while he's here. Jasper, get off the bed. See ya. So it has been a hot minute since this guy and I went on a date night because, you know, busy with life. Kids busy, soccer practice, couldn't book a babysitter or whatever. Uh, but anyways, we're just gonna go out, eat some good food. Oh, well, thank you, sir. drink this much but you know sometimes sometimes you just gotta treat yourself sometimes you get fucking wasted and you don't realize it and sometimes that's okay but as long as you take an uber and you don't drink and drive mm. jasper this is what my face looks like under a pile of makeup. <laughs> Jasper wants has a present for you. Jasper, bring here. <laughs> bring here, buddy. Hi. Jasper. Jasper. Hi. Fuzzy Peach. Fuzzy Peach. Life is about balance, including food, alcohol. Fuzzy peach popsicles. It's, it's, it's actually not that good. Espresso shots. Uh huh. So I'm not too sure how much of the last night I got to film. I just know that we ate a bunch of food. I believe it was a 10 course. Everything was delicious. There was wine pairing. There was a mini beer flight. There was a freaking vodka shot to clear the palate. 
it was amazing, you know, everything in moderation. But anyways, today's a very exciting day because I have a cool photo shoot coming up, uh, which you guys should see on Instagram very shortly, um, as well as it's just a beautiful day today. We're going to the park. Jasper is also included in the shoot. So it's just gonna be a very chill day. I'm gonna have some greens because, you know, I gotta replenish the body. Jasper, are you ready to go to this photo shoot? Are you excited, buddy? You're gonna be a model, wow. Job, Mr. Model Dog. All right, let's go home and eat. Let's go. Up. All right, folks. That's pretty much it for this video. Those were some of the things that just make me feel good. At the end of the day, it comes down to daily movement. Not going to the gym every day, but moving your body every day, eating some good food, spending time with the people you love, getting outside into the nature, and ultimately just doing what I do. Like just doing this work makes me so happy, and I have you know, you guys to thank for. So just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys can take something away and do something this week that you just like doing just for the sake of your enjoyment. So I mentioned this on my channel before, but don't worry about being less shitty to the environment or other people if you're not gonna be less shitty to yourself first. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and remember to be less shitty. Thanks guys.